And good morning, everyone. Good morning to our Savior Parish uh, on this Thursday of the fifth week of Easter. And uh, today we're wearing red uh, because it's the feast day of the Apostle. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Matthias, uh, who was the replacement Apostle for um, Judas Iscariot, um, who betrayed Jesus on uh, the night, the night uh, uh, Jesus was arrested. Uh, Judas betrayed um, Jesus. Judas took his own life after that, and uh, there was a, a replacement apostle needed. And so we're here to turn this to the first meeting. Uh, Matthias was the one who was chosen, and I'll, I'll be talking more about Matthias uh, in, the, in my homily. Uh, so it, today is red, uh, the feast of the apostle, and uh, also, I'm still by myself today, uh, Father uh, Rafal, Father Rafal, so we can keep, keep praying. For Father Rafal. Uh, Father Pavel did return last night, but it was kind of late last night, so he's going to have a, 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 a private Mass of his own a little bit later on today. So um, just me again today. Uh, tomorrow you should see Father Pavel with me uh, in celebrating together. Uh, so one of us will, will uh, preside, but one will come celebrate. Um, uh, something new to announce this for this coming weekend, not new assignments, but just something new we're, we're, I'm going to be adding. Uh, we are going to open up confessions again uh, this weekend. So we're, uh, I'm going to be, oh, it's, it's like, it, 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 we can only have 10 people in, in church at a time. But uh, Saturday uh, afternoon from 2 until 7, and Sunday afternoon from 12 until 7, so uh, each of those time periods, uh, church is going to be opened up 10 at a time. Uh, everyone's, uh, we want everyone wearing masks. Uh, not during confession itself. Uh, you can take it off during confession, but when you come to, to church and when you're in church, uh, wearing, wearing masks, and we're going to be socially distanced. Uh, so as we have our 10 people in there, we're going to be in line and socially distanced in between each other. Uh, but we are coming, we're opening um, the sacrament of confession for people of our parish. So uh, this Saturday, uh, 2 o'clock until 7 o'clock, uh, afternoon and early evening, and Sunday, afternoon from 12 o'clock until 7 o'clock. Uh, I will be in there uh, to hear confessions. Father Pavel, I, I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet to, to see what his time frame is, but uh, very likely he'll be uh, in the mix there as well. So uh, confession will be open again this weekend, so you might want to write that down on your, your calendar. Saturday 2 to 7 and Sunday 12 to 7. So confessions are opening back up. We now begin the celebration of the feast day of St. Matthias. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And with your spirit. spirit. And good morning. Good morning, Father. We're happy to gather here this morning to celebrate this feast day of St. Matthias. We begin this celebration now by acknowledging our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. 
mercy on us. We take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated in the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, who is the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry, for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning with the baptism of John, until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barthas, <clears throat> who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed. You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place of this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat among the leaders of the people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The, the Lord will give him a seat with, with the leaders of his people.
Lord with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We, we like to think about uh, this feast day of St. Matthias today, and, and just a little bit of background. Uh, when Jesus chose 12 apostles, there was something um, important in, in the integral about the number 12. Um, when, when Jesus chose 12 apostles, that there's a reason that the 12 is important. Uh, 12 was the number of the number of tribes, the total tribes of Israel. Um, and so, uh, we think back in the time of the Old Testament, uh, Jacob, uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, and each of those sons uh, formed a tribe. And so the people of Israel, God's chosen people, uh, consisted in 12 tribes. And so that number 12 was, was, was very integral to who uh, Israel was as God's chosen people, the 12 tribes, 12, 12, 12. And so Jesus, as he chooses his apostle, uh, he's very, uh, he's being very specific in that number 12 that his apostles, um, this new church he is forming, um, is the newly reconstituted Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel um, of the Old Testament uh, was anticipating uh, the, the church. Uh, Jesus was bound, was, was bound through his uh, through his Eucharist, uh, through, his, uh, through his death and resurrection, uh, the number 12 de designates uh, the newly reconstituted 12 tribes of Israel is now uh, the church founded on the 12 apostles. And so the, the, 12, the, the number 12 is key. And, and so as we, we know that Judas Iscariot, part of the original 12, uh, when, he, when he took his own life, early church wanted to restore that number 12, and so they, they chose, they had, they had to choose between lots. They're, they're, they, the thought was, uh, find someone who has been with us through all of Jesus' uh, public ministry, from uh, his baptism in, in the Jordan by John, uh, through, his, and through his death and resurrection, until his uh, ascension. Who has been with us this entire time? And one of those two that was, was chosen um, his name was Matthias. And so uh, we, we simply recognize that Matthias is the one who completed the number 12 again. Um, you know, the church is the, the founded, truly, the found church is truly founded on the 12 apostles, the, the apostles. But the thing that I was thinking about was Matthias. Um, when we picture Jesus uh, traveling throughout his public ministry, we always think about the 12. Um, you know, Peter, James, John, Andrew, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but we should always in our minds be thinking, Matthias was with them the entire time. Uh, we don't, at least in my own mind, I think of all the stories, the parables, Jesus up on the mountain, the Beatitudes. 
I always think about the 12, and I've always known as 12, uh, but I should always have in my mind, okay, Matthias was also there. He's not me. Uh, we don't hear from him. He doesn't have any lines in Scripture, but he is always there. In some of the sense, I think it tells all of us uh, that Jesus is current church. Um, there are many people who are recognized for look what these, these individuals did, and we, we are happy to recognize them, but there's always other people behind the scenes making the mission of the church possible. Uh, people who may never be recognized, people we don't get to hear what they have to say, but there are people all throughout the church's life and membership who are continuing the mission of the church in ways that are unseen and sometimes anonymous. Um, sometimes someone at home saying prayers in church, we may be homebound, we may not even get out, um, we may not be recognized, we may not be known, uh, but whose prayers and thoughts and hearts are very integral to the life of the church. Um, that Jesus chooses each of us for a particular mission, um, even if we don't all get recognized. Um, and so today we recognize that Matthias was always there, uh, and all those stories, all those parables, all the events of Jesus' public ministry, uh, he was always there, uh, even if he wasn't recognized, even if he wasn't named. Jesus chooses every one of us for our own particular role uh, in the nation of the church. Uh, each of us has a role, uh, whether we're recognized and named or not. We now be before the Lord. He is our prayers. For the church, may the Lord raise up saints to lead all of us in holiness and faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the word, may the grace of the Lord transform hearts to see the dignity of every person and the sanctity of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who labor and, and faith is known only to the Lord, may God strengthen and sustain them, and may St. Matthias intercede for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit give each of us the grace to fully answer our particular call to the holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, May the Lord welcome them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today, we remember in a special way Virginia and George Smith and Margie Roding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you today for the prayers of St. Matthias. We thank you for his example and his inspiration for which we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed be God forever. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not observe your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, who heaven and earth are full of your glory, most honored in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, most honored in the highest. And we will pray you for your prayer, number one. You, you for your prayer, number one. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and abundant sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas John, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, for the offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, in paying their promise to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, 
Then once more, give me thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save, save the you. world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection for the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and crowning countenance, and to accept them as one you are pleased to accept, the gifts of your servant, able and just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To also us, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, to John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with light, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who Lord art in God, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us will be pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. O Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Be 
before Kumamaka. He implored them who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of you should have to come to my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you, says the Lord, Alleluia. Let us pray. Now receive so Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And just a reminder, tomorrow being Friday, we will have uh, our, our Mass at 8 o'clock tomorrow. We'll have the homily, uh, the homily based for our children. We want our parish and to our schools. Um, so the tomorrow's homily, I'll be directing it uh, specifically as I do every, every Friday uh, to our, our children. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May my God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and be glorified in the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. We are protected against the wickedness and snares the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the all the evil spirits who wander about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.